Hello my friends of oh, Hatray Labs, my name is Romontoyo. Please welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is for a tutorial and applied tutorial about how to download groundwater labels from the National Water uh, National Water Information System. Okay. So we have this platform for the US where you have data but you only you have stream flow you have water quality you have groundwater labels and so in this case we have done and apply it and apply um, and apply tutorial about how to download groundwater label however you can do the analogy because we have done this um, we have used this uh, python package that is called data retrieval that and we have applied that for groundwater levels however here you can see how you can apply this for stream flow or like um, and then you can get uh, daily values statistics and so on. okay so let's start so you are going to receive the compressed version of this folder here okay so here i'm going to Okay, and then we are going to work with JupyterLab. So say Anaconda prompt CD documents div CD how to download huh, how to download JupyterLab. Okay, great. Okay, so here you have a script, and this script we are going to work with this side. Okay, this side is the code of a groundwater well. Okay, and if you don't have the data retrieval installed, you have to just uncomment this. Okay. For example, if you don't have the that package installed, you just have to run this once. Okay, so but I have already installed it. Okay, and then you import the package, and then from that, and I think that you can by looking at that, I think that well you can download data from the National Water Information System, but I think that could be more options there, and then we have. Okay, let me clear outputs. Okay, so we we are going to use pandas as well, and then for one station, um, we select the station name. We can have the station info. However, this station info is actually pretty long. I mean, there are many many values, and uh, there are. Oof, um, there is an explanation of each of them however here I have picked up just the most important well for me the most important ones that was the site the I mean I, I have done a filter and then I have done um, a re, what, what is this a rename of the columns and then I got site latitude longitude the CRS the system of reference the elevation of surface the depth of the well and as well the uh, datum of the elevation okay and then we have um then we from that we get a data frame but a data frame that just has one one value because here we are working with just one value okay so here we have latitude longitude uh, the datum that is not 83 and the surface elevation on this datum as well okay and then okay this is the information about the um, the well and then what we are going to do here is that we are going to take or we retrieve information about the values associated okay uh, for that we use the get record and here what is important is that you define a start value because otherwise it won't work i mean if i do that 
okay I just get the last one okay and then somehow you have to look for this and um, for example you can type 900 so and actually you have value from year 2000 so why so you just have so that's why how you identify the first value okay so for the first of january 2000 and then we will have all values here okay and then here what we are going to do we are going to run and we are going to just pick this the site number the type of well and the elevation okay by doing this okay and then here we rename that and then we got a beautiful pandas data frame okay however this is just for one well okay so and um, the description of the video as well what you have is a list of wells no actually this this is a list of wells okay so you have many many wells and then i want all the data from those many many wells okay so that's why say for many groundwater wells i'm actually i'm going to add i'm going to uh, retrieve the data and then i'm going to create a well list and this is a normal list in python actually i will show you just the first five okay and then the all the pros all the procedures or the arguments that were for a simple well can be also can also run by a list i mean so instead because in the for one well this was just one value but here we can put a list as well okay so we can get the info of that and then we can do the rename and then we are going to store this here on csv okay let me delete this as well um so okay um so this is the groundwater wells the information so here i have the site the latitude the longitude the datum the surface elevation and so on as a table and we are talking about 35 wells that we have retrieved in just one code okay and then here as well we can get the water label so we are going to and this is what is missing in here because here actually you don't see you have IB, DB, stats, site peaks, measurement, and QB data, but as well it works with groundwater labels. Okay, so here this is the data frame, and then we do a filtering, and this is actually head. Okay, and then we do a filtering and renaming to in order to get a beautiful CSV file because it will be groundwaterlevels.csv file and this will be a table where you have the site number the daytime and the type of groundwater okay even that here i have to because we have the final that we are going to work for the first of january 2000 so because we have value for that yeah okay And then here mm -hmm. no you know what groundwater labels what we have are 651 values okay however for example there are some values that here do not have any daytime okay well or what else are here and all I mean it comes with the site number and the data and then by just doing later on if we want to do an interpolation and so on what we can do is some uh, some interactions okay um of the and we can do some interaction of this data set okay so that's it this was the tutorial actually i think that is 
it will be useful for you if you are doing some research on regional groundwater assessment using this database. Okay, my name is Saul Matoya. Please have a great day. Hope to see you in coming courses, tutorials, webinars, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Subscribe as well.